When your God, you strip a donkey, he accept the name of Israel, he accepted the story, because this is what Israel mean. Muhammad is a fraud. He took names, he put it in his book, by taking those names, he got himself busted. Gabriel he is not the angel of Allah, because if he is the angel of Allah, why his name is Gabriel? Gabriel. Who is his God? Eel. Not Allah. Mikael. Who is his God? Eel. Not a one of the 99 names of Allah is Eel. Mikael. Gabriel. Israel. All the, is even the word Israel. What does that mean? The name Israel proved that Muhammad is a fraud. The word Yahya proved that Islam is a fraud. What Yahya mean? This is a name taken from the name of Yahweh. But all of us, we knew that the Muslim, they have 99 names of Allah. Not a single one of them is Yahweh. <laughs> so how Yahweh? Zechariah. What Zechariah is? Zechariah is two words connected together. The stupid Muhammad, the thief Muhammad, he moved from the city of the pagan, Mecca. He moved and he lived between the Jews. And there, in the, when he lived with the Jews, he learned about those stories. First time Muhammad, he saw the Jews ever in uh, doing practice of religion. He saw them fasting when he came to Medina. He said, why you are fasting? They said to him, this is the day where Moses, he passed over the sea. Muhammad never heard of it before. How a prophet of God do not know what Moses did? He said, really? Well, you know what? We are more close to Moses to, to, from you. And he command the people to fast it. Just because the Jews, they said, but what if they are lying? What if they are not telling the truth? Fraud. If we ask Muslim what Moses mean, they do not know. Okay, what Isa mean? They do not know. What Yahya mean? They do not know. What Al Messiah mean? They do not know. Imagine in one of the interpretation, they claim that the Messiah, his name is Al Messiah because he have a flat feet. <laughs> they don't even know to. They don't even know how to say his name correctly. John became Yahya. If we read the Quran. In the whole Quran, how we will know who is Israel? Suddenly the Quran says Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Didn't you tell me introduction? There's nowhere it says, because this is a book of theft. Who is Israel? Children of Israel, suddenly. Okay, who is Israel first? Muhammad is trying to establish a religion. And he steal everything from somebody. The black stone from the pagan Arab before Islam, they worship the vagina. Even the Hadith says that Muslims used to go around the black stone and they are totally naked. Muhammad, he never have a verse in the Quran about it. Never. Why Allah did not say, don't do that. From the beginning, the first day he became a prophet. How come Muhammad never mentioned that going around the Kaaba naked is a shameful act? He used to go watch. He watch. Why? And by the way, until now they are naked, practicing the same as the Arab, they practice. Let me show you the hadith about walking around the Kaaba naked. Naked. Totally naked. You need to ask yourself, what was the religion really? Which Muhammad family adopted and he adopted too. 40 years he was not a prophet. So what he was worshipping? He's pagan. We have even the ketchup boy, we have his recording saying clearly that Muhammad never was Abrahamic.
never was Abrahamic. They lie. They say Muhammad was Abrahamic. Listen carefully. They admit that Muhammad has nothing to do with Abraham. Even the Quran confirmed that. He found you lost and he guided you. So what? He was lost. How he was lost? He was gambling. The Quran says, and you do not know the book. Never know the book. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Did you hear it? Muhammad, at the age of 40, he do not know who is Gabriel is. And he is not Abrahamic. And the people of Mecca are pagan. What a stupid religion. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good time. And you notice we learned one important thing. The Muslims, they cannot avoid that Jesus can do what nobody can do. And even their God cannot do anything. Their God do not know how the baby is created. Their God, he think the sun set in murky water. Their God think that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, which is true. I mean, women, they have big testicles in their chest. You know, if you don't believe me, you know, go check your wife. You know, she have big, huge testicles. Your testicles look so small compared to them. I feel sorry for you, man. Uh, his God, otherwise, how he knew those things? And when the stupid, he start making fun of the Bible, he just... Each time he says something, he shoot his prophet. He shoot his prophet. How God, he said, let be light. And then he created the sun in Wednesday or in the fourth day. Light is not the sun you eat it. The star, the star is a burning star. You have to create the light first, for this is the source of light. And that will be very accurate as even science. Because the sun is created not before the light light is something and the sun we say this the light of the sun but the sun itself is not the first light created for light is the existence of light like when the god of islam he created adam supposedly what he created first mud so did he create adam by saying to him be and he was the quran say yes he said let be and he was, but then we read in different verses, we find that Allah, he brought mud, he brought clay, he mixed it together, he used his hands, and then he, he, he let Adam even stand for 40 years to dry him out. 40 years, Adam, in the process of a drying, look, Allah don't have a stove. At that time, it was ice time. 40 years to dry Adam, and then after 40 years, Allah he breathed into Adam and not only that when Allah he breathed into Adam Adam was not finished to the point Adam he said to Allah finish me before the sun set and I find it very laughable that this Abdul he says it's not logical a Muslim talking about logic can you believe it it is logical that Muhammad he go and have shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage and this is to do ablution obviously you have a mental illness there's no human being and not only that when they ask him why you are doing that he says oh yeah okay you know what water is always clean okay water is always clean is it even if we have dead dogs and women of blood from period and a stinking garbage in it This is the one we will take him to be our teacher. And why you Muslims don't do that? Why you Muslims don't do? I want every Muslim to follow the steps of Muhammad. 
Put dead dogs in your bathtub. Garbage. Women blood from period. And do abolition. Your prophet was so filthy to the point that even dogs used to piss in the house of Allah, in the middle of the holy uh, house of Allah support, holy house. I like it, holy house. Huh? And the Muslim, they never sprinkle water or clean. This is how clean the companion and the prophet. Jesus, when he saw the Jews in the outskirt of the yard, you know, the temple have many yards. They are not even in the yard. They are outside. He flipped their tables and he said to them, you made the house of my father a bazaar? Muhammad, dogs, get in. They lift their legs up, they piss, and this is where the Muslim, they put their head down to pray. Not only that, even men, they go inside the mosque, standing, grab their penis, and they start pissing during the prayer. And Muhammad even forbid them from talking to the man to stop him. This is Muhammad, and this is religion. And doing those potato, they want to say to us, look, look how easy to hijack the miracles of Jesus. Allah gave the permission to Jesus. Who in the world want to believe in such garbage? If Allah gave Jesus permission, Allah should be able to do what Jesus did. The whole Quran in front of us. Allah is in total disability. He cannot even understand how the baby is made. Allah, he thinks the sun set in murky water. Allah, he claimed that Zulqarnan, he found where the sun set and he found where the sun rise. Allah, he claimed in the Quran that there is a prophet, his name is Zulqarnan, which means Alexander the Great. He built a dam between the human being and Gog and Magog. And go watch the video of Yasser Qadhi and see how it is stupid to believe in Islam. Even the Muslims are leaving Islam because of those stupid stories. Gog and Mago. Oh, bring me copper and iron. And those people who do not speak the language, they said to him, build for us a bridge, a dam, and we will pay you. I mean, the guy, he just occupied them. And you want to pay him? Alexander the Great become a contractor? Hey, guys, I'm going, sorry, I, I have to make a phone call. I'm going to call Elon Musk. I want him to build a wall for me. The guy, he just occupied their land. He have the biggest army in the world. And they say to him, build for us a dam and we will pay you? They will pay him what? He owned them already. Hey, Alexander, uh, hello? Uh, uh, can you wash my dishes? Oh, sure, sure. You know, I heard that you are good, you know, like big, big shot king, you know. Uh, I want to build a house. A fence, can you build a fence for us? Oh, yeah, you know, where is the fence? How much you pay me? Oh, uh, come on, you know, I mean, you know, your wages is so nothing, you know. You are just Alexander the Great. And we will pay you. And you, and then he built for them a dam. And until now, we cannot find the damn, damn you, Muhammad. Who is the stupid one to believe in such a garbage? And then when the Muhammadan, they ask about the story of Zul, you know, Zul Qurnayn, uh, you know, it turned to be that Muslims are leaving Islam left and right because of this story. He found where the sun set, brother. He found where the sun rise. Really? He built a dam? And this dam is made from copper and iron and this dam will open only in the Day of Judgment? Before the Day of Judgment? True story. If I go right now and search in Google, you would die laughing at what happened to Muslims when they hear the Quran.
Let me see. And you know, and Ili Dawa, Ili Dawa, he decided to to fight this issue, brother. Okay, so you know, he said, Ili Dawa, okay, you know what? Uh, we can solve the problem. Why we need to be logical? Before I start, I want to let you. Yeah. Okay. Let us see. Before we start, yeah, he's selling zucchini. Channel, Majuj and Majuj. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talks about them in the Quran. And they are mentioned specifically in a hadith, brothers and sisters. Now, one thing that a lot of people make a mistake, which I've seen, you know, people of knowledge, is that they try to comprehend and understand how is, who is Yajuj and Majuj? Where are they? How could they stay in a cave for so long and dig, dig, dig? And just when they're about to come out, and obviously there's issues, some say there's issues with that narration, etc. Some parts of it, you know, are not authentic, whatever it may be. I'm not trying to get into that, okay? You know, and then Dhulqarnayn. Um, and you know, there's so many speculations, etc. And a lot of people come and they're like, some people even get into doubt with this matter. Some individuals even leave Islam. And I'm like, no way. And now you will stop them. How? Tell us how. What's the issue here? What? Let me tell you guys the crux of the matter because there are a lot of people and a lot of individuals who've tried to make people understand this and even push the narrative of these certain ex Muslims, you know, that, you know, people uh, are leaving Islam because of this, apparently, yeah. Uh, which I just heard one individual and most of his reasons. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, you know, there's one individual, he left Islam because he had a girlfriend and he liked her, she had big breasts and she had nice nipples. So he said to himself, I'm not going to frame Muhammad because she have her nice nipples. I mean, they try to frame everybody. I mean, there's millions are leaving Islam because of the story. What happened individual? Blah, 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 Okay. This is the same potato. He's saying in different video, Trinity is not logical. In this video, he's saying, why we need to be logical? Muslims. Muslims couldn't have intimacy with a lot of girls or something like that. Okay, I don't think it was this issue at all, yeah? Yeah, and this guy, he left Islam because he wouldn't have intimacy. He just made a video about have secret wife. You know, what uh, a person, he like intimacy, he will stay within Islam because you can have four hooker in the same time and you can even lie to your wife about having a new wife, which means you are having sex secretly without marriage. Because now how we can guarantee that she isn't even a wife, it's secret wife. How we know it's a wife? Maybe she's just a woman you sleep with. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. okay, go, go to the topic. More of his desires. The point is this, uh -huh. that we fall for this. And then what we try to do is, in return, is like, I know, let's try to bring it down to a logical level and try to explain it in a logical way. Stupid Muslims. You try to make Islam logical? So why you stupid in your video, it says Trinity is not logical. The second we ask them about their religion, you should not be logical. When in fact, in the Christianity, the Trinity is very logical. We can prove it even from Islam. See, Muhammad, everything he do in his religion is a three time. Any Muslim can explain why? They cannot. Even when he say, Assalamu Alaikum, he say three times. Three time. Even when he do ablution, you know, like he... Uh, wash his hand three times, his ear three times, his nose three times, his mouth three times. Why three times? They can't answer. Allah, he made Zechariah fast from, you know, uh, 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 from talking for three uh, three times. Mary the same, you know, uh, uh, three, uh, three, uh, three days, sorry. So, uh, uh, three, every, a Muslim, if he divorced his wife three times, he cannot get her back unless she go and if somebody else. We believe in the Trinity, they practice it. Every Islam is based on Trinity, Allah Jibreel Muhammad. Imagine how boring it is that somebody speak to you and he repeat the sentence, the last sentence he say three times. Like as an example, the story of Adam debating with Moses. Muhammad, he said at the end, so Adam confu confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses. Mental. Why three times? Why you have to repeat three times? And now this guy is asking you why you want to follow Allah, which is the stupid God, and you're trying to be logical. Are you stupid? 
logical level and try to explain it in a logical way. Now, I've seen many people do these videos. Okay, many people. One of those was, was uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi. You know, the thing is now, it's Ramadan. I'm not here to talk about anybody. Uh, we don't talk about people and their back. We, later, we, you know, we, you know, yeah. It's Ramadan now. We, in a different month, I'm going to screw the guy. It's Ramadan now. Yeah, he's a good believer. Yeah, he just screw the guy, mention his name. But I'm not going, no, it's Ramadan now, okay? Later, later we can screw him together. Um, etc. Okay, I don't want to make anything to ruin my fast, my Ramadan, etc. How sensitive. You know how sensitive he he will he will uh, he will gossip about the guy after ramadan in ramadan is haram in ramadan only we suck the tongue of our wife like aisha and muhammad the guy is fasting yet he is sucking her tongue look like her tongue is not included in the fast what i'm just saying is obviously there's a lot of things i don't agree with dr yasa qadi uh, and there's things I agree with also. So the thing is here, it's just I don't want to get into the details of the nitty gritty. The point I'm trying to make mm -hmm. is he also done a video on this matter. The point I'm trying to say and what I don't understand is this. Why do we have to understand everything in the context where... Why what the heck, you stupid Abdul? You want to understand everything? You want to do that? Look at this face. I understood not to understand why why you are doing that. Why we are trying to understand everything? Why? What's wrong with you? Okay, the story doesn't make sense. We cannot find the dam. And how those people will stay behind the dam and they are one to one thousand, which means if we are now seven billions, they are seven trillions, yet we cannot find one individual. And they are not under the ground. They are behind the dam between two mountains. And now we have satellites. And we can see everything. And you are trying to understand everything. Are you stupid? Are you? Why does it always have to be logical? Why huh? The same guy, he says, Trinity is not logical. The same guy, he said, well, God cannot be inside his creation. In different video, he says, Allah is inside his creation. So this is why we laugh at this religion and we find it hilarious and stupid. We show the guy that, okay, is the Bible corrupted or not corrupted? Is it against the will of Allah or by the will of Allah? They can't answer. Oh, Allah did not say he will protect the Bible. He said he will protect the Quran. Okay, show me the verse. And then is the Bible corrupted? There is two opinions. Which one you take? The second one. So why the Quran says confirming what is between their hands? No answer. Read the verse. You don't want to read it. Oh, I cannot see it. We jump to the second topic. I don't debate Muslims. Because you cannot debate a liar. You can only get them busted. And this is what I do. I don't debate them. They are stupid liars. They are not, I cannot say even they are professional liars. They are stupid. The story of my grandfather dying standing for a year is funny. The second I said it's in the Quran, it's, uh, yeah, it's true. How God created the sun in the fourth day? According to the Quran, actually, Allah created the sun in one chapter in the first, in the beginning of the creation. In the other chapter, go to chapter 41, and chapter 79 and compare you will die laughing one chapter says Allah created this the, the mountains and the land and the water and the trees and then at the end he created the lambs which is the stars and the other chapter saying Allah created the sky first he made the light the stars and then he start walking in the earth very simple Do we have any other Muslim who is not so stupid so he can call me? I mean, this guy, it's, you know, we had fun. And, uh, you know, uh, now we will make him famous. So everybody will laugh. He will be proud about what he said, by the way, in front of his children. Do we have any Muhammad and he want to uh, give, give it a try? Maybe you can play with me.
Anyone? There's going to be an avalanche. It is already an avalanche. I love people of India too, my friend, but please be careful. Don't send me, uh, don't send me any dish of food. Once I have a friend, there's a, a Indian doctor, very nice guy, actually. He invited me to his house. Very nice people. And uh, he told me, you don't like spice too much. I said, little, just little. Because I know Indian food is so spicy. So he told his wife, little, you know, little. And before we sit and eat, he said to her, you, you, you bit little, right? She said, yeah, 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 little, just little. And guys, I start eating. I felt fire going from my ears, from my nose, from some other locations, I cannot tell you. And, <clears throat> and I keep drinking water like an elephant. My lunch became water. He say, so you like the food? <clears throat> I can't even talk. My voice is not coming out. So I, I, uh, it's good, good <laughs> to eat little spicy Indian food. <laughs> Just little. So now if you are an Indian and you invite me to my, your house, excuse me, I will bring my sandwiches with me. Don't even think about it. Do we have any Muhammadan? Okay, do we have any little Muhammadan? Yeah. And the funny, he said, okay, he said to me, before I start eating, let, let me test it, let me test it before you start. He tested, it, he said, yeah, it's not, almost nothing. Said, really? He said, yeah, nothing, you know. And I took a big spoon in my mouth. It was nothing. I can feel after that. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? Who can make Muhammad look better than you? Can you? They claim that the Quran is a preserve. We find the goat eating the Quran. The Quran is messed up. And he said that uh, the Bible, there is two opinions about the Bible is corrupt or not. Two opinions. I mean, I, I never heard of Muslim, they have two opinions. You have thousands of opinions about anything. You know, even your prophet, he said, my nation will be 73 sect. The Christian will be 71, 72 which means the Muslims are more divided than anyone. So if misunderstanding the Bible is cor corruption in that way, that means you have 73 corruption. You know, Muhammad, he heard Jesus mentioning the word 70. And since then, everything is 7 and 70 for Muhammad. The same as the punishment of the grave. Once he heard a Jew saying that God will punish you in the grave for if you piss in your feet. Since then, Muhammad, he never stopped saying, I seek refuse by Allah from the punishment of the grave. And right now, if you go right now and search for the torment of the grave, you will find endless, funny, stupid videos with effect and sound effect grave snake and there is a scorpion and 99 snakes each one of them have nine heads will go inside your anus brother oh you are dead and now the angels and they, they speak about logic by the way you are dead and the angels will ask you three questions even in the grave three questions I mean, if the Christian, they say that, I say, okay, there are people who believe in the Trinity. The angels, they will ask you three questions. Why, why three only? What, what about we make it four? Three questions, brother. Grave punishment. <laughs> oh. Why Allah punish them people in the grave before the day of judgment? Mm. Sound like a horse. What the heck?
why Allah punishes people in the grave as there is a possibility that this person may get acquitted on the day of judgment. Similarly, a person who is not punished in the grave may be found to be guilty on the day of judgment. <laughs> the question posed by Riyaz is that why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punish the person in the grave? Maybe hey, hey, by the way, I have an idea for the woke uh, people in USA. Why you don't bring Zach and Nike, put him on your TV, like CNN, CBC, NBC, something like that? I mean, this guy fit perfectly with you. All of you are mental. I'm sure if you wear a skirt, you will accept him right away. Just put a wig, wig a skirt, and... Assalamu alaikum wa My name, let me introduce myself. My name is Akhan Naik, and I'm wearing a wig. And today, I'm going to wear a skirt, and it's a blue, because I like a blue. Excuse me. Allah, he made the sky blue. I like the skirt, which is the blue. By the way, I'm not going to tell you what kind of underwear I'm wearing, because it's haram in Islam to tell you, but I can tell you, and I can assure you that I have a nice underwear. Thank you very much. And now the first question. Okay, first question. The, tell us about the punishment of the grave. Why Allah want to punish people in the grave if it's going to be the judgment day? It's logical. Why Allah will punish people in the grave if it's going to be a punishment in the day of judgment, brother? What the heck was that? Two punishment? One guy? What? Maybe on the day of judgment he'll be acquitted. So won't it be injustice? And maybe you may not punish a person in the grave and he may be held responsible on the day of judgment. So isn't this wrong? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Imran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, that, Kullu nafsin maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. So how Jesus did not die? <laughs> Potato. And if that is true, that means Jibreel is dying too. And the angel of Allah are dead. Because everybody shall live dance. But what does this have to do with the question? Why are going, uh, the guy is dead. How you can punish a dead man? And your final recompense will be on the day of judgment. <laughs> and anyone. Yeah, like he's trying to collect thoughts like and, and. It looked like he is either did not take his lunch yet or his wife, she made him wash dishes last night. One who is saved from the fire and is admitted into Jannah, into the garden, has achieved the purpose of this life. For this life is goods and chattels of deception. <laughs> yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Sole Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, is telling. Potato, you mentioned that already, that every human being would die. The question is, why we are we being punished in the grave? Us ...that the final recompense will be on the Day of Judgment. That means, the final Hisab Kitab, the final tally hmm. of the reward and punishment will be on the Day of Judgment. Don't sleep, that please. That means, if you have to get a reward, yeah. we get part in this dunya, in this world, part in the grave, part in the hereafter. If, 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 if. So you like to check now, check later, check at the hereafter. So now when you are in the grave, what is the reward in the grave? Let me count for you. Free Wi-Fi. Brand new iPhone 110. Nobody have it yet. You know? Uh, the word in the grave? The guy is dead. Anyway, if you hear those stories, you will die laughing. And you know he's trying to find like what he will say. I mean, the question is, is stupid and the topic is stupid and he's stupid too. So they're trying to find the reason. What, what I will say to this guy? What I'm going to tell him? Punishment of the grave. <laughs> The fear of punishment of the grave.
has a question similar to question number nine. Oh, they have numbers. Actually, number ten. Munir says, often I remember death and I feel very afraid. I dream that I have died and I wake up very scared. Mm. Now, the fear is a human characteristic. Every single person has to be afraid. Mm. You have to fear. So, no, I'm a Muslim, I trust Allah, I depend on Allah, and I rely on Allah. Once you see a cobra or a lion charging at you, let's see your dependence on Allah. Mm. Definitely, we all depend on Allah, but there is natural fear yeah. that has nothing to do with shirk or associating others with Allah. Mm. If I'm in my room and nobody's with me, and I'm afraid to read a letter or open a book or... Uh, uh, yeah, give me a break. Tell us about the punishment of the grave now. Who does not have the ability to judge my feelings, yet my fear is far greater than the fear of Allah Azza wa But natural fear, if your house is on fire, you can't stay in your bedroom and say, I, I will make dhikr and inshallah. What is the punishment of the grave? Tell us about the punishment of the grave. You to stay away from sins if it drives you to pray on time in the masjid. What is sin in Islam? Sin is not to pray to Allah, but not to go around and have sex with the children, not lying to your wife, not lying to children, not the wife lying to her husband. This is not sin. Do you know, according to Islam, that if a man he kiss a woman, touch her, play with her private part, and the woman she do the same, this is not even sin it's called a lemon a lemon it is not even counted it doesn't even count as sin at all i am disappointed i thought you are going to tell us about the punch of the grave until now you did not even go to our topic then this is a positive fear because it prevents you from doing what angers allah azza wa jal but if the fear oh it's a it's a it's a it's a class of logic now and philosophy this guy he became a therapy a therapist you know he will teach about fear time and it makes you hopeless in allah's forgiveness and mercy mm. and it ends up by you saying if this is the case then allah would throw me in hell and there is no use for me to pray get lost I click at your video to tell us about the punch of the grave. Until now, you said nothing about the punch of the grave. What's wrong with you? Okay. I'm trying just to push the video. All right. The punishment of the grave, this happens to all of us. We have to fear the punishment of the grave. And this is why we do not backbite. We do not uh, take people's uh, uh, chit-chatting to ah, others. They, don't. they are harmed by it when they hear it. Mm. And we do not do things that qualify people to be punished in the ah. grave. So what to do? If you have something that you fear and you want a dua, a supplication, there is one great surah that the Prophet told us, alayhi that whoever recites it okay. when going to bed, uh -huh. it is composed of 30 ayah. Uh -huh. If you recite it every night when you go to bed, Allah Azza wa will exempt you from the punishment or the torment of the grave. See, okay. how, see how easy it is? Just recite the surah every night before you sleep for the rest of your life. If you miss it one night, Allah will punish you in the grave. Very simple. But look how easy it is. You know, you, even if you are, your name is a Christian prince, say that surah, you know, that, you know every day before you sleep. That's it. You are not going to be punished in the grave. The angel, they will ask you, oh, you are, a, oh, look, he recited these verses before he sleep every night. Go, go, go. It's okay, you are, you pass, you pass. What the heck? I know we should find different uh, Abdul. 
You're enter to the grave. Mm. Look, look, they make videos with the, with the, with the voice uh, sound effect and music and graphic. There's actually a video of a guy from Pakistan. I played it long time ago. Uh, I don't know if I can find it. You will die laughing. Look at this idiot here. Bird screaming from the grave. This guy is the biggest scam ever. Trying, you know, to make money from the Mohammedan. The punishment. Oh, look at this guy. Punishment of the grave. Oh. Oh. Look, this guy, he just came from the grave. Ooh. I mean, I just typed the word of appointment of grief. Look what we have. Ooh. Oh, look, this guy, this guy must be fun. Hold on. I never play videos of this guy. He must be fun. Two stupid. angels, harsh and reprimanding, will then come to him. They will reprimand him and will sit him up and ask, who is your Lord? The believer will reply, Yeah? My Lord is Allah. They will further ask, What is your religion? Oh. To which he will reply, Okay. My religion is Islam. Oof. The two angels will then ask, Who was that man who was sent to you? He will reply, Liar. It doesn't say that. They will show him a picture of Prophet Muhammad. He is the messenger of Allah. They will finally ask him, and what did you do? The person will say, I read the book of Allah, I believed in it, and I considered it to be true. Guys, so now we knew the three questions and we know the correct answer. How in the world anyone in the world is going not to pass? <laughs> Listen carefully. The angels, they will ask you three questions and based on your answer, you will be punished or not and now all of us we knew the answer <laughs> so christian prince he go in the grave the angels of allah will say to him christian prince who is your lord christian prince up for the theater my lord is allah okay and what is your religion islam and uh, okay, and who is this? Hey, this is the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, you pass. What the heck? You are giving me the answer for the questions for the to pass from the punishment of the grave, and you publish it for the whole world. Is that a is, is that like a shuku shuku a magic? You know, like a, you say those words like ma you know, the Prophet. He says, if you eat seven ajwa. No magic can control you. What about we eat seven ajwa before we die? What do you think? Hmm? Punishment of the grave? What? It must be true. How many of you? And look at his face. Serious. This is a serious topic. The guy is almost doing poop on his pant. Punishment in the grave. Oh. Ooh. And that is the last trial the believer will experience. <laughs> Let us see a different video. Hold on. Someone is more funny. The eternal punishment of the gray. Someone else. to see I wish I can find you that uh, Pakistani boy I mean I remember we played this video we, we used to die laughing literally hilarious <clears throat> and all of this because Muhammad he heard the Jewish woman saying that it, uh, that's it he took it and since then he never stopped saying that Oh, this is a uh, this is an atheist. He converted to Islam after he learned about the punishment of the grave. 
Okay, hold on. Let me be sure that this is the video. Uh, too bad they made a cartoon. They, they, they don't have the guy, the actual guy. Uh, I cannot find the video. Maybe it's for your benefit because I don't want anyone to have a heart attack from laughing. Torment of the grave. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find this video because there's a million videos about this topic. Most people, you know, mental. Crazy. You know, and Muhammad he is supplying them with all superstition and stupid stories, and those people they believe, you know. Punishment. Would we would we be lucky if we can find the video of this guy? Maybe they deleted his video from YouTube. It wasn't a very old video, so. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan? Let us see. Let me look at Skype. I want to debate you. You are a filthy liar. A Muslim, he is going to debate me and calling me a filthy liar. Let us see. Look like he have a bad connection. I can't even call him. Oh no. I found the video. What? Man, this is a video of me talking like 20 years ago. Can you believe it? Hold on. I want to play the video of the guy talking. I found a very old video of mine you know, like the quality is really bad. And this is the guy, he is, uh, I want to play his video. I don't think so. You tell me. There is a, this is a true story, by the way, that once in Saudi Arabia, there was a person who once hit a camel. And oh. it is um, famous about the camel, I mean, it's a fact about the camel. If you hit a, hit a camel, camel is gonna take revenge. Ooh. Ooh, be careful. So <clears throat> there was this guy in Saudi Arabia, he, he once uh, hit a camel and then at night when he was about to sleep he remembered that oh man I hit that camel and when he was peeking out of the um, yeah. office, uh, out of his door he saw the camel standing outside <clears throat> and he knew that camel is gonna catch me man I, I need to run. That's he it. was in a tent, he was not in a house. Uh -huh. So he began running and while running the camel started to follow him. Uh -huh. And the camel was following and the man went to a graveyard. Ooh. And in the graveyard he saw a grave. Here the action started. That's it. The punch of the grave. Listen carefully what will happen. Uh, which was a little bit uh, weak. Uh -huh. I mean it was not, um, you can say, hard. Or firm, yeah, yeah. so he broke the grave and he, he went inside. And inside, he saw the a scorpion, a small scorpion, a strange kind of scorpion, and he was stinging the dead body. Oof. And he got there's a scorpion and is, is stinging the dead body. Look what he's busy like the guy is dead, and the scorpion, like, stinging, 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 non stop, you know. 
Look at this face. Look at this face. They believe in this garbage. The, this guy believe in it. You know, he's, he's not. He's, he's serious. You know, this is not paid by me, but from Pakistan, brother. Got a little bit afraid. The that scorpion uh, came out out uh, of the uh, grave, and he uh, he saw the camel coming. He stinged the camel, Oof. and the camel all of all of a sudden died. It is famous about the camel that if uh, a pers uh, if a snake or any deadly um, animal uh, bites or stings the, uh, the camel yeah. it takes at least seven to eight days for the camel to die yeah, because yeah. camel absorbs the Absor ah. poison very slowly okay and when the scorpion stinged him he died at once <laughs> and then the man came outside he saw the camel is dead he got happy and he kicked the camel no way with anger and when he kicked the camel his feet till the ankle melted brother Brother, this is a true story coming from Prophet Muhammad for sure. So now the, the scorpion did sting the camel. The camel, which was chasing the Saudi guy. The camel now is dead because the scorpion sting him. He died immediately. The Saudi guy so excited, he come and he hit the camel with his foot. Big mistake. Big mistake. His feet and his leg melted. Like melted, melted. You know what melted mean? What's wrong with you people? Why, why you are not believing? What, what's wrong with you? I mean, look at his face. Do you think this guy is saying a story not true? The camel is dead because of poison. The guy hit the camel. He thought he is Macy's. You know? Like you pay him money, he will go like a hooker anywhere. So, he hit the camel... And now his foot and his uh, legs melted, brother. This is how bad those scorpion in the grave. Those are not like normal scorpion. This is not like your wife, she sting you, you know, or your mother-in-law, or your husband. There's many scorpion around us. Mm, this is different. <laughs> this is a scorpion in the grave. You name it. Animal. Uh, bites or stings the, uh, the camel it takes at least seven to eight days for the camel to die because camel absorbs the poison very slowly and when the scorpion stinged him he died at once mm. and then the man came outside he saw the camel is, is dead he got happy and he kicked the camel with anger and when he kicked the camel his feet till the ankle melted no way because of the poison I want to skip my voice, guys. Sorry. I'm talking here. I don't want to hear myself making comment again. Let us move where he start talking again. Where is the story continue? Hold on. <laughs> Too bad. I wish I can find it. I, 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 I wish I can find the exact video. Uh, like I know without my comment. I mean, it was not, um, you can say, hard or firm. So he broke the grave and he, he went inside. And inside he saw the a scorpion, a small scorpion, a strange kind of scorpion. And he was... But did you notice that the scorpion is so small? Yet he can melt your feet and your leg. Don't you see? When they say to you, size does matter, bingo. It's not. Hello. So small. So small, the scorpion. Don't let them, anyone, lie to you and say size does matter. So small. Big small, big uh, scorpion in the desert? Nothing compared to this small scorpion. Because this small scorpion is sent by Allah to the grave for the punishment of the grave. Size doesn't matter. Thinking the dead body. Hmm. And he got a little bit afraid. The that scorpion uh, came out of, uh, of the uh, grave and he uh, the camel coming he sting the camel and the camel all over a question brother why the scorpion came out of the grave uh, do you have any problem i mean can you tell us why <laughs> why the scorpion stopped uh, pun the punishment i mean why he is interested now to fight the camel i thought he have a job in the grave 
the 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 scorpion came out of the grave. Look at the story. I don't know who's the director of this movie, but for sure he is an American. <laughs> Sound like Sylvester Stallone movie. All of a sudden died, and it is famous about the camel that if uh, a person, uh, if a snake or any deadly um, animal uh, bites or stings the, uh, the camel, it takes at least seven to eight days for the camel to die because camel absorbs the poison very slowly. Mm. And when the scorpion stinged him, he died at once. And then the man came outside. He saw the camel is dead. He got happy and he kicked the camel. Mm. With anger, and when he kicked the camel, his feet till the ankle melted because of the poison. Mm. The camel, the camel's body became so much poisonous yeah. that his feet till the ankle, which he hit, melted. I saw the pictures Anyways, myself. Yeah, I saw them. And that kind of scorpion is gonna sting us. Oh Oof. man! Man. So please. From here, we can see how much horrible will the scene be. And the good thing about uh, about the past person is, if you uh, worship, your worships are gonna save you from the snakes and and the scorpion from oh. your left hand side. If you give charity, what what what? Where, where from which side? If you worship Allah, it save you from what? Look, we have solution. I mean, it's really horrible, but we have a solution. Listen, uh, worship. Your worships are gonna save you from the snakes and and the scorpion from your left hand side. Left and right side. See, that's only if you worship. Left and right. Still, there's your front, your back. Hello. If you worship, you're not done. No. Left and right side. The scorpion now. If you are a person who just worship, you don't do the other things you need to do. Only the left and the right side of you is secure. Your nuts, your testicles is not secure. Oh boy. And your anus. How we can protect them, brother? Do you know? If you give charity, you, uh, your charity will save you from snakes and camel on the top. On the top, charity secure you from the top now we are going to go to the bottom that is the sensitive area the one i just told you about your penis and your anus how we can protect that listen carefully take notes if you um <clears throat> i mean it's a sensitive topic you know yeah we're going we are going going down we're going really down now you know so <clears throat> You, uh, your charity will save you from snakes and camel on the top. If you um, <clears throat> don't lie, speak truth, and do righteous deeds, those will help you from the snakes and uh, scorpion coming from the right hand side. And if you read the Quran, yeah, that will help you from the bottom. Shut up. The Quran will protect the penis and the anus. Are you serious? I read Quran every day. Trust me. Every day. My private area is for sure secure. Look at those eyes. Those are the ones you are talking to. This guy, he called me. He looked like this. This is the stories we live in, you know. And they want to tell you that Islam is a religion. This is what Muhammad told them. This is not a story told by a kid. This is what Muhammad told them. This is why you find tons of Muslims making videos about the punishment of the grave. They believe in it. This is what Muhammad said. And then you need to ask yourself, if this is what Muhammad he speak of, who is Muhammad? If you go right now and see what Jesus say and compare it to Muhammad's stories, you will see how stupid Muhammad is. I mean, if we compare him even to anyone, 
Who in the world wanna say such a story unless he is stupid? Brainwash is nothing compared to, compared to Islam. Look at this poor kid. He is serious. Islam is based on fear. Muhammad is trying to make them follow him based on fear. If you enter the bathroom without saying a prayer, shaitan play with your anus. If you don't say a prayer, as he say, shaitan will run and you have sex with your wife, shaitan will rub himself around your penis and he will do your wife and your son will come and mute. Tons and tons of fiction stories. So... <laughs> Hey brothers and sisters, who in the world, be honest please, who in the world can come with such a story unless he is a prophet of Allah? Huh? Who? Nobody. Nobody. This is, must be from God. How Muhammad he knew those things if he is not the prophet of Allah? Ooh. Muhammad, for sure, he is a true prophet. You know, I can show you just one video and I can prove to you from that video that Muhammad is a prophet. There's no question about it. Can we keep hamsters as pets? The Prophet والسلام, instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill Remember, our topic today is Muhammad life documented. <laughs> this is what the Muslim proud about to be documented. Muhammad, he instruct us to kill five animals. Who are they? Listen carefully. And why? Why? Listen carefully. Hill area, which is out of the Haram or inside the Haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice mm. because a mouse is a type of an animal that is evil by nature oof, 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 and it oof. carries a lot of diseases you see oh hold on yeah, yeah i agree that mice can carry a lot of disease but uh he is evil by nature what he do if you see what muhammad said about him you won't believe it Actually, he will tell us why I want to tell you. Hmm. Listen carefully. And the question is about hamster, not about mice. But for Muslims, hamster is a mice. Mice is a hamster. And the plague is one of them, <clears throat> among others. Ah. And it's known to be destructive. Plague is spread by mice, not by human too. Ah. Human don't spread plague. And with evil intent, even. The mice, when he come to your house, he come with even evil intent. You know, this is like a pre-med, uh, pre, uh, what they call it in English? Excuse my funny English. Pre, uh, like a murder, what, what they call it? Somebody said me, help me, help me. I'm not like a Mimi Hijab who uh, use big words in English premeditated uh, cr crime something i don't know pre something yeah so man this mice he come to your house and he is he have a plan what i will do in this house today they gather together those mice and they make a plan yeah premeditated yeah yeah i was i was right about saying it which is weird I believe my, my english is improving you know come kind of hard really look like allah is helping me Okay, go ahead. It may take a piece of thread and get it uh, 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 burnt from or set it on fire from 
a candle or fire in the house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it. Look at this evil mice. She take a matches, you know, from the fireplace and she, she go to the curtain. You know, okay, now we go to the kitchen. What an evil mice. I mean, this is why the Muslim, they have fatwa to kill Mickey Mouse. There's a jihad against Mickey Mouse, the cartoon. Yeah. And they reject it in the Middle East, in Islamic countries. They are trying to make us love the enemy of Allah and Mickey Mouse. Your kids now, they like mice. Haram. With it. So, mice are evil and we are ordered in Islam to kill them. <sighs> A hamster yeah. is very similar uh, to mice. It uh, looks like mice. And as they say, it's about 86 to 90 species of mice that are found there. So a hamster is a rodent and it falls under the same category of mice. And hence, it is not permissible to keep them as pets mm. because of the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ to kill them wherever we find them and to dispose of them. Jihad, jihad against the mice. I mean, what, what, what you can say? That said, the Prophet, he said, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, should we have enough for today, guys? Or you want to have more time? And now, we you know, we finish. Nobody watched the video as usual. Only a couple of thousands. Killing the house lizard. That's a good topic. Serious one. Um Aisha says, Can you please explain the hadith about why we should kill the house lizard? Yeah, First why? of all, the house lizard, I think they call it salamander or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the, the house lizard is an insect, an insect that the house lizard is an insect. Hmm. That's beyond. The house lizard is an insect. And I was wondering, I mean, why the house lizard looked like this? He looked like an insect. Insect. Ah, Shia sect. Sunni sect. Ah. Insect. I got you, brother. I got you. I know what you are mean. Those Christians, they think something else. They think you are saying insect, like a fly, cockroach. No. You are saying this lizard is from insect like he is you know from those sects you know like you know you know you know you know the thing an insect that is harmful yeah some of it cause a lot of diseases <laughs> and some say that it intends to walk over the food and the, the drinks and to poo where it puts a lot of its illnesses and diseases in mm. people's food. So, in general, it is a dangerous creature. Insect, what that creature? only brings harm to the people in mm. general. And if you notice that anything that is harmful, Islam tells us to kill. Mm. So Islam tells us to kill a wild dog that bites and attacks people. Muhammad, he have a phobia from dogs. He ordered to kill all dogs, not wild dog, you liar. And then when people, they complain, he said, okay, kill all the dogs, except the guardian one. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of diseases. Plague is one of, they are most infamous for. And also, they cause fire 
in houses. Mm. As in the, play, in, in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, it tells us, mice do heinous things. Heinous. Though people nowadays are so fond of them. Mm. We're told to kill the crows. Mm. A crow yeah. that also carries diseases and eats. Just because he's a black, that's the whole story. Because he's a black, you kill the crows, okay. Uh, uh, dead meat. Mm. Well, all animals they eat that meat, you stupid. What's wrong with you? All animals they eat that meat. I mean, uh, except the ones who eat the grass only. All birds, chicken. Uh, oh, you know, what? Just because it's black, Muhammad he says, kill every pure black. As we know, he's very racist. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill scorpions. He told them to kill the snakes because they are genie. If you have a snake in your home, you stand in the front of the house and you warn the genie to get out. You give him three days. If you don't come out of the house, three days, then you kill the genie. The snake is a genie. And these by nature are harmful for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do likewise with the house lizards mm. and there is a hadith no way don't go to the cheese there's a hadith about the lizard muhammad he encounters something unique about lizard tell us what in sahih al-bukhari it's documented remember the muslim he says the prophet his life story documented and this is one of the documented documentation about Muhammad making poo-poo, which means speaking. The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, yeah. was thrown by his people mm. in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire. All the creatures. What is the name of the cartoon? You see them, all those animals talking to each other, you know? What? So they throw Abraham in the fire now. They want to burn Abraham alive. All the creatures, brothers and sisters, they bring water from the jungle, even pigs. Even pigs, brother. The Zaraf. Elephants. Elephant, they come all the way from India. Ooh, you know? And the dogs. Cats, I mean, cats, you know, the cats, they will like go in front of the elephant. They say meow, meow, meow. It's like we, 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 you know, like the ambulance thing, you know. All the creatures in the world, they come to rescue Prophet Abraham, except the lizard. Now you tell me, you be honest with me. Shouldn't we kill the lizard? Look at his mouth. Look, look at this. Look. Look, look, let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Allah gave you a big brain. Big brain. Okay, okay, what, what, what happened, what? What happened? Can you please continue the story? I can't go to sleep without hearing the rest. So now, Abraham is in the fire. I hate it in the TV, you know, when like, you know, like, okay, now the story, like, they put Abraham in the fire, and bingo, the end of the series come tomorrow. Like, what the heck? Or they play commercial for you. Hamburger. Like, when there is something important you want to see, like in the movie, suddenly there is a commercial, or a commercial, or commercialine. Depend on who is in control of Sheen. If you have Joe Biden Sheen, you are messed up. So, okay, so now Abraham is in the fire. All the creatures from around the world. I don't know, I heard that creatures from, like, uh, from Philippines, they brought balut. They throw balut at the fire. Creatures from Korea, they brought kimchi. Kimchi, 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 you know? From uh, China, uh, the, uh, Brosley came. Brosley and his friends and, you know, those karate. They want to fight and free uh, uh, Abraham. I mean, everybody, everybody from around the world.
you know, like we, it's like a global uh, global thing. Creatures around the world, around this is a global thing. This is this is this is bigger than uh, you know the thing. Uh, what happened? To try and put off the fire, teachers of Allah, fire. All the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire mm -hmm. with the exception of the house lizard. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. What the, what, this show what a filthy, disgusting creature. The lizard. I mean, all the creatures in the world, not even one exception. Hey guys, uh, uh, guys, do you like my uh, my accent? Especially when I say exception. What? All the animals. Nobody left. Even the rabbit. I don't know. I mean, this story make me believe it truly in Islam. Even Chihuahua? What about, you know what? I really feel sorry for Abraham if a turtle is coming for help. I mean, are you sure all the creatures is turtle between them? And Abraham is waiting, and the turtle now, she want to go to the lake, she want to put some water in her mouth, and she is going to come back immediately to stop the fire. However, I heard, but I'm not sure, that Mr. Kongoro from Australia, he bit the turtle in his belly. He have a pocket there. He put water, he put the turtle, he have a sandwich, his hamburger, throw them out so they can put more turtle. And he was jumping, boing, 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 until he arrived to Prophet Abraham. Ducks. The ducks are the first one to find water. They are ducks. I mean, you are, are you kidding me? If ducks don't not know where is water, who will know? Think about it. So I heard that when they saw Abraham in the fire, a rabbit spoke to a chicken. The chicken, she spoke to a rooster. The rooster made an alarm. Coo -coo -coo -coo. The ducks, they heard from far distance because rooster at that time, they can go far with like a radio station. I mean, they have even short wave according to science and long wave. So if you are a chicken, you can hear it. If you are not, you hear only the short wave. Scientifically proven to be true. So the ducks, they heard the rooster. The ducks told the other ducks, and she told them like, walk, 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 which means Abraham is messed up. We have to do something. So all those animals, even chimpanzee, Chapan they look around them, they are in the jungle. There's no water. What they do? They brought coconut. They start breaking coconut, and open the coconut in the top of Abraham. Coconut after coconut after coconut, and Abraham, he is hungry, he drink it. They said to him, Abraham, what are you doing? This coconut should go on top of you to stop the fire. Don't drink it. I mean, they open the coconut, they make a hole, and the liquid is coming, and Abraham opened his mouth like, ah, that's good. What are you doing, Abraham? The bear, the bear come all the way from Alaska. He asked for the help of Solomon, his enemies. But now all the animals are united, you know. All creatures, they came, all the creatures of Allah. This is not just one person job. This is united the front from around the world. Very beautiful. This one too, when he heard the news, they told him, do you know who is in fire? 
right away he start telling everybody he start looking at the wood so maybe someone I heard I don't know he was looking for David Wood this is why they call David Wood David Wood you know like you look at the wood David Wood is there so he went to David Wood he David you know Abraham you know he, he missed the address by the way he thought David is the same David David Wood is the same as David the one mentioned you know like Solomon and David you know those stories yeah so he, he got the wrong address however he have a smart cousin he thought you idiot what are you doing this is the house of David Wood this is not what we are looking for you know and, and then like you know so right away they start like okay you know and then they have uh, a cancer consultant uh, which is this guy they ask him, can you tell us the fire is from which direction? Because he have a big ears. Like at that time, this was the radar. He said to them, sorry, I'm so short. I cannot really hear it. I'm going to ask my cousin. And this is what happened. The cousin, he said to them, I'm going to take to my uncle. He is wise and he is, he have wrinkles. The uncle, him, fire, he starts sniffing around the world where we can find this fire. And you know, things are getting so complicated because the story and then the parrot came. The parrot, my friend. He told them, you are doing everything wrong. This is not how you save Abraham. The first step, we have to call the fire department. Yes, fire department. You might say to yourself, in that time, there's fire department. I mean, who is going to believe this? Nobody. There is. This was the head of the fire department at that time. <laughs> I mean, like through time, fire department changed, you know? Like, it is something different today. Like, they have big cars, etc. Yeah. And then, they, when the fire department, they've been informed, the captain, he came and he started, like, giving orders. They don't know what to do. They are, you know? Uh, so, like, it was like a multitask uh, uh, power uh, uh, of work and then you know like okay still we are short of numbers so they send you know there's a guy his name is happy feet i don't know if you know him happy feet uh you know they call hey, hello happy feet uh, abraham is burning can you bring some ice ice is very important this it's a crucial it is a cru it's, it, this is the time you need ice you know because Ice not only will stop the fire, can fight the burn in the skin of Abraham. So they, they called them and they brought, uh, you know, the, you know, and, 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 you know, if you don't believe me, by the way, I have a witness because she is so big, her head is so high, she was able to see everything. Uh, they call her Jaraf. So, uh, I mean, I don't know, the story is a true story. Uh, I know that your face look funny now like this because some of you don't want to believe in such a magical amazing story however that because you are an infidel if you are really a smart person who have little logic a little brain you should accept that this story is a true story but what I can do to you you don't have the qualification neither the inspiration all right yeah all of you look like this now like yeah, here we go I, I i'm i'm sorry i mean this is a true story and you guys don't want to believe in such an ami and look like you're standing up like this now like what huh what you know you need to believe. It's time to believe. Even the pig, he brought water. But, you know, he did not really bring water. He started pissing. I mean, what you expect is a pig. Hello? Don't blame a pig for acting like one. Do we have any Muslim here? He wanna, you know? So all the creatures in the world, they came to rescue Abraham? Are you sincerely sincere? How I'm going to stop those Christians now from converting to Islam? I'm serious. How I'm going to stop them? They will be driven by such a 
truthful story. How many of you would like to take Shahada now? Oh, look, I have two husky. They ad agreed. Ooh, two gorillas discussing the option. Now, this is after saying Shahada. And the gorilla is looking to Allah in the sky. Like, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Allah. Islam is a blessing. What's wrong with people? Why they don't want to believe? Satan is not allowing you to see the truth. I feel sorry for you. This story is very well documented. Even there is a uh, an organization. It's called N Nasuka in America. You know uh, those uh, Nasuka. They do uh, make Pepsi and they send it to the uh, space uh, because you know American crazy about Pepsi. You know they wanna they wanna uh, do commercial uh, for the alien. Uh, so they send uh, Nasuka, you know, they call it Nasuka, NASA something. They send Pepsi, you know, Pepsi Cola uh, to the space so they can make the alien drunk and they can occupy their land. You know, because you drink Pepsi, you go crazy. You know, like I, I know, I, I know uh, what happened in Afghanistan. They drink seven up and they jump seven times after that, you know, because the seven steps and jump. So, uh, uh, brother, uh, what happened in the story? Like, can you finish the story? We're ordered to kill scorpions. And these, by nature, are harmful for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, mm. All the creatures of Allah All. used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. The it sun. used to try to what blow a so that the fire would grow. Okay, hold on. I mean, you might think this is not a true. But would you please take a second and take a look at the lizard? why you are not believing let us take a look at the lizard so we can understand the situation i'm trying to help you by the way hmm. all right don't think that Muhammad he have a very strong imagination or anything. No, this is true. Little study for the situation, you will know that lizard is dangerous and he is scary. And this is just an example, but not necessarily. Look at him. Do you see the color on him? The green one is the matches, Cabrit. This creature inside him, brother, you have Cabrit. So when he open his mouth, fire come. He blow wind, yes, but with the wind, there is Cabrit. He is dangerous. He is of evil. And he is our enemy we all of us human christians muslims hindus jews atheists we should stand with the prophet abraham against the lizard today you will be exempt if you are a good person or a bad person how you know if your wife is a good woman if she likes lizard 
divorce her. How you know that your husband is a good man? If he like lizard, divorce him. How you know that? What if both of them don't? They like lizard. Ah, stay married. Okay, that makes sense. And if you look at his legs, look at those dangerous legs. How you can explain that to me? There's a hadith about Muhammad. He saw the legs of the lizard and he decided that they are Jews. If you don't believe me, I can show you the reference. If there is any Muslim here want to tell me how much you are proud about the documented life of Muhammad? This is the documented life of Muhammad. It's not even good for children. And you are making a video to say to me that we, we Muslims, we documented everything about the Prophet. Yeah, like, you know, the Prophet, he used three rocks to clean his ass. And I want to know why three rocks. Isn't it four will be cleaner? And Muhammad, he refused, by the way, to use bones to clean his anus. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Muhammad, he uh, cleaned his ass with the three rocks. When his uh, companion gave him a bone, he refused. Let us see who of you knows who is learning here. 